Hello everyone and welcome to this video on how to use Inventor. I am Brad and today I will be showing you how to take a part file and set it up to be used uh, with a 3D printer so that we can actually print our designs. And so uh, what we need to do to do that is to convert the file from a IPT to an STL. So here's a part file that I have. This shows a Christmas ornament that I've created. And if I was content with this just being a single color part or a single color print, then I could go ahead and just export it as an STL right now. So to do that, I go to File, Export, and CAD Format. I would look uh, make sure that this saves as type STL. Most likely it will not default to that. So you would need to hit this drop down menu and select STL. Also, if it's your first time creating an STL, uh, then the units might be incorrect. So for the printer that I use, I use an Ultimaker, and the Ultimaker needs the units to be in millimeters. Uh, so this this would depend on what kind of printer you're using, but my printers use millimeters, and so that's what the setting will need to be. By default, it would be centimeters, so you want to double-check that and make sure it's in millimeters. And all this means is it'll take your uh, dimensions for your part and convert it to millimeters, and that's what Ultimaker needs. It, it takes all the measurements uh, in millimeters, so for it to print properly in the right size, we need to do that. And once we've done that, we we can save. Now, I'm not going to do that because I actually want to make this two different colors. I want the background and the hat to be red, but then I want these lines, these raised lines, and the fluffy parts of the Santa hat to be white. And to do that, I need to separate this into two different part files, one for the red and one for the white. So I'm going to start a sketch. And I'm going to do that right there on the white part, just because that's the most raised up part. Uh, it doesn't really matter that much. And then I'm going to project geometry. And I've there's going to be a little bit less to click on if I click on all the things that I want to be white. And so that's what I've done. I've just, you know, this little ball I wanted to be white, this trim white, the lines. So I just clicked on all that with the project geometry tool, and it outlined it all in yellow. And so I can go ahead and finish my sketch now. And I'm going to then extrude this. And I'm going to, once again, I'm going to click on all these things that I want to be white. <clears throat> and then I have a couple different options. Right now, obviously, this first option is adding material. I don't want that. This cut would remove all the white from it. And then this third option, which we have not used before, intersect will keep only those things inside the outline. So I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to change this from distance to all. And I'm going to have it go both directions just to make sure I get everything. And hit OK. And so there you have it. I've removed everything but the, the white parts that were outlined. And so what I can do now is <clears throat> the same thing I showed you a minute ago. We'll export as a CAD format um, STL file. I want to make sure that I'm in millimeters, and I am. I want to make sure it's an STL uh, file, and it is. And this is the white part. So I'm going to give it a new name, BRAD logo white. And so BRAD logo white.stl, and I'm going to hit save. Next, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to modify this extrusion. So I'm going to double click on this. And I'm going to switch from the intersect, which kept everything inside the outlines, to cut, which will cut everything inside the outlines. And I'll hit OK, keeping all the other settings the same. Now I'm left with only the red parts. And so I can again file, export, CAD format. I want to make sure that I'm in millimeters, and I am. I want to make sure it's an STL format, and it is. And I will give this a different name as well, because that's the red part. And I will hit Save. 
And so that, uh, now that we've created these two STLs, it is possible that we can uh, take this over to a printer and print it. I will show the specifics of how that's done for an Ultimaker in a subsequent video. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.